guys and welcome back to the channel. Um, today we're going to play in the incubator for just a few minutes. Um, the eggs have been in for seven days, so um, I want to see if we got anybody growing in there. Um, so we're going to do a little bit of candling, and um, I'm just going to randomly candle a few chucker and um, a duck or two, but I'm excited to see, you know, if we got anybody growing in there. So, hold on, and we'll be right back. Okay, one thing that we're going to break out is this wonderful device. It is my old-timey chicken viewer, and it is literally a wooden box with a switch and a light bulb in it. And um, Mark made it for me uh, a couple years ago, and I painted it up really pretty, but there is a, a big LED light in here and a switch. And all you do is on this rubber ring, you set the egg and you turn the light on. Now, I don't have it plugged in or anything yet. And it's got a pretty long cord on it. And I just smack myself in the face with it. But, this is one way that... Um, I want to go out and, and check the eggs. Now, the duck eggs I can do on this one, but the um, the chucker eggs are, are much, much smaller. They're, you know, only about that big. So, I'll show you a second way that you can candle eggs. Um, it's really easy, and you can use just about any flashlight. Um, I'm excited. I want to I wanna see if I've got new babies on the way, so... I'm going to take this out into the dining room, and I'm going to very carefully get out a few eggs, and we'll see if we got anybody growing. So, um, hold on a few minutes and let me go out there and, and get the incubator ready and everything, and we'll be right back. Okay, I've got my chick viewer plugged in, and you can see the light comes on. And um, I'm going to randomly select two duck eggs, and um, we'll see if we got anybody growing in there. Um, it's going to take me just a second, and I'm going to get a couple of them out. I'm going to just set them gent real gently here in my lap, and um, I'll make sure that um, I show you a really good view. So hold on just a minute. Let me get a couple of them out and um, we'll put them on the viewer. Okay, I'm going to get in here as close as I can. I'm going to very gently move this so you can see it. And I don't know how well it's going to come out on camera, but this dark spot right here is an embryo. I know it, it's hard to distinguish from the dirt and stuff on camera, but that right there, that spot, is the embryo. And if I turn it really gentle, you can see that the entire egg isn't full up with new growth yet. But, and I can't leave these out very long, but if you turn it really slow, you can see the embryo does move just a little tiny bit, and um, I don't want to move them too much. So I'm going to pull this one off. And I've got one more to check. Okay, that one you can see a little bit better. That right there is the new embryo. And you can see too that that egg still isn't completely full, it's still just developing. You have to be really careful. Um, I don't want to keep these out of the incubator too long, so I'm going to go ahead and get them put back in here. But that right there is a brand new baby duck. And since I candled two of these eggs and found embryos, I know that I have at least two new baby ducks. But I do have nine eggs in there, um, but I don't want to handle too many of them for too long. So I'm going to get these two back in the incubator, and uh, then we'll look at some chucker eggs. 
Now, another way that you can check eggs is with a flashlight. Um, chucker eggs are a little bit different. They're so much smaller. And um, you gotta, gotta cup your hands around them. And I'm not 100% certain that I can show you exactly where the embryo is in these eggs, but they definitely are viable. So I'm gonna just do the best I can. I'm gonna cut my hands around the flashlight. And I, I don't really know that I can get this on camera. But there is a tiny embryo in that egg. And um, it's a lot easier to see it in person than it is on camera. Maybe I should try to get a smaller flashlight, but I don't want to keep them out very long. And I did check a second one. Now, I don't know, maybe I can get that one. Um, you can see right there, there's a line that's very much like the ducks. You can see the line right there where it's lighter in the bottom and darker on top, and it's starting to fill the egg. And the little embryo is right there. I don't know how well I can get that on camera, but I don't wanna leave them out of the incubator way too long. But we definitely will have baby chuckers and baby ducks, and um, they've got, I'm not exactly sure how long they've got, so what I'll do is um, I'm going to go ahead and get these guys back in the incubator, and um, then we'll talk a little bit more about them. Okay, I've got everybody back in the incubator, and um, there's the ducks. I moved them down just so I didn't have to reach too far in and right, lower the temperature too much. And there's the chucker eggs up there. Now I do have another set of chucker eggs that I'm going to put in in about three days. And unfortunately, the ducks have quit laying for the time being. But um, it might just be the weather. The weather's been a little odd and it's been a little warmer than usual. So, maybe they think it might be summer. Um, it's been in the, in the lower 80s for a couple of days. And um, I know my ducks, they'll go through this little spell and then they'll start laying again. But the duck eggs have, today's day seven, so they have 21 more days. And the chuckers, they go, um, 23 to 24 days so um they still have a pretty good while to be in there but i'm really happy that i found living embryos which means that their humidity and their temp is just right and i'm really excited um i've already got their bedding and their feed and and um i've got everything out for their brooding and um we'll discuss that in another video when it gets a lot closer but today is day seven and we definitely saw little embryos in there and um, I'm gonna go ahead and um, get the the automatic turner turned back on and every time you open an incubator you're gonna drop the temperature and the humidity so you definitely want to keep it open as short a period of time as you can so let me get that done and then we'll go talk about them again hold on okay so that's all the footage that i have for today and i was really tickled to see that that we have embryos and um the the ducks are are gonna be you know about three more weeks and and the chuckers about little over two more and um when it when it gets to be time to um brood them um 
I will show you everything that I do to brew them, and um, definitely a video when they start hatching. But um, to go back over this, this really is very simple to make, and um, my wonderful husband made it for me, and um, I'm really happy with it. And it works very well for chicken and duck eggs, but, you know, the chuckers and the quails are a bit smaller, and, and a flashlight definitely works for them. But this really is a wooden box with a switch, and I can't show you down in there, but there is one of those um, little outlets this, for the, a screw and light bulb on a cord and it it works wonderfully and um, I really enjoy it and I don't, know, I don't really have anything else to say I'm just absolutely tickled that that we have babies on the way and you can check the eggs at seven days to ten days um, by the time they reach about 14 days, you won't really be able to see in the egg because the embryo would have formed and um, formed everything that it needed to fill the shell. And about three weeks, you can barely see into them. So if you really want to know what's going on in there, you kind of have to go in a little bit early. But definitely make sure that your incubator always has um, plenty of moisture. Um, you definitely want to check the humidity. And you definitely want to keep them where they're at camp consistently. Um, anytime that you go in there to check them, like I did today, um, doing, doing a check, um, keep it open as short a time as you can. You don't want the temp to drop too far for too long. But, um, all that being said, I'm really, really excited. And, um, the other thing that I wanted to tell you guys was don't forget to join our giveaway. Um, I believe Mark was going to, um, announce the winners on the 12th. Um, he can correct me if I'm wrong. Um, and I don't really have anything else for today. Um, I went out and, and I did a little bit of shopping and stuff this morning. And I came back really excited to, to get in there and, and see if we had babies on the way. But I'm really glad that you took some time to spend with me today. And um, I hope this video finds everybody safe and happy. And... Um, don't forget to um, subscribe to the channel if you're not. Please enter our giveaway. And um, ring that little bell. It'll let you know when we have um, new videos out. You never know what I'm going to do in, in any given day. And um, if you like today's video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, don't forget to leave any comments or questions in the little box below. We do our best to get to every one of them. And... Um, I hope everybody has a wonderful, safe day. Today the sun is shining and, and it is a beautiful day. But we are expecting rain tomorrow. So, you never know. I'll, I'll come up with something crafty or something to do tomorrow. But, anyway, I won't keep you any longer. Um, love you guys. And we'll see you in the next one.